Welcome to today's video, where we'll be looking at ways for computing eigenvalues of a matrix quickly, given some information about that matrix. My name is Mohammed Omar, and I'm a professor in the math department at Harvey Mudd College. So the problem is, suppose we have a 3x3 three three matrix with characteristic polynomial x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x plus 9, determine the sum of the reciprocals of its eigenvalues. What we'll be able to do today is actually compute the sum of the reciprocals using the characteristic polynomial without computing any of the eigenvalues at all. And the reason for doing this is, it's possible that it's difficult to factor the given characteristic polynomial. Okay, so if we label the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3, we want to determine 1 over lambda 1 plus 1 over lambda 2 plus 1 over lambda 3. And we can rewrite this in the following way. By finding a common denominator for the fractions on the left. Now what we'll see is there's a way to extract the values in the fraction on the right without actually having to compute the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, and lambda 3. To see how to do this, first recognize that the eigenvalues are the roots of the characteristic polynomial. So the polynomial x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x plus 9 factors into x minus lambda 1, x minus lambda 2, and x minus lambda 3. Now let's expand the polynomial on the right hand side. If we do so, then the coefficients of the polynomial in x will be written in terms of the eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. And in fact, if we take a look at the coefficient of x, that is lambda 2, lambda 3 plus lambda 1, lambda 3 plus lambda 2, lambda 1, which was the numerator in the fraction that we were interested in computing. Similarly, the denominator was lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, and so we have access to that as well. So now that we have the characteristic polynomial written with coefficients in terms of the eigenvalues, we can compare coefficients to get exactly the numerator and denominator for the simplified expression of the sum of the reciprocals that we want. And as a consequence, the sum of the reciprocals of the eigenvalues is negative 5 over 9. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked the video, please click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel.